We wanted to talk to you today about our sensors. So the retro shooter package comes with a four IR system. So therefore we are sending four IR sensors. The sensors look like this. We're sending four of these sensors. They come with a bracket. This bracket is designed to be mounted on an arcade cabinet so it can be screwed into the arcade cabinet and then you can slide the sensors in to the, so that it holds it on. But if you're setting this on a TV, we recommend just using it like this. We've included double-sided tape. It's a nano tape, so it comes off very easily and doesn't leave any residue on your TV. But if that isn't something that you enjoy on your TV, we also recommend using Bluetack. This stuff has been great. This is what I use on my, t on my TVs uh, with these sensors. And I just peel off a little bit of this. If I can get it out, it's hard to get out, but you can see I just have a little bit that I've used and stick it on either the top of the sensor or the back of the sensor, depending on where you're gonna mount it. So you're gonna have four sensors. Each sensor needs to be powered and that's why we have a USB-C port on either side of the sensor so that these sensors can be daisy chained together, meaning power comes into this one, goes out this one and into this one, comes out this one and into another one. We also include all the wires that you're gonna need. So we have two USB-C cables so that they can be daisy chained together. For example, from this one to this one, that can be daisy chained together. So we have two of these cables and we have a USB that is wide to two USB-C cables. So if you were gonna use this setup, I would plug this into my TV, the back of the TV. A lot of people are plugging this into their console and using one of the USB ports on their console. We don't recommend doing that. We recommend plugging this into your USB port of your TV or a USB power bar or some other USB power source, USB power source. And then we would plug one end into here. So this is in your TV, one end into here. Now we have two that are powered. We would take this cable, we would connect it into this one, and then we take our other two sensors that are gonna go on the bottom two corners of your TV. And we're going to take this cable that comes out of here and we're gonna plug it in here. Now, these three are connected via, via this USB port. Then we're gonna take this one, we can either connect it from here to here or we can connect it from here to here. And that's gonna power all four of those cables. I'm gonna show you on the TV, but my TVs are really large, so it's awkward to show you the whole setup. So we can see that there are four, there are two arrows on either side of the sensor. Those point into the screen, okay? So I'm gonna grab a little screen here and you can see what I'm talking about. Move these out of the way. So if this is my screen, those would point into the screen, just like this. Let me grab another one. So that would point up into the screen like that. Now, if I'm putting it on the top, these would be pointing down into the screen like this, okay? That's how these sensors are mounted. They could be mounted on the face like this, or they could be mounted on the bottom. So up, if this is the TV, they would be mounted right here. I'll show you in the video in a second. I've also found that some people, they don't like the cables coming out of the out of the side and they would prefer the cables coming out of the back. There are USB-C 90 degree angle pieces that you can use and it just plugs into the USB. It's just a little junction and now it can be plugged in like that and you can stick it on the bottom of your TV. Obviously this wouldn't work if you're mounting it flush with the TV, you'd still need to run it like this. you'd still need to run it like that. If you were mounting it on the face of the TV. If you're mounting it on the bottom of the TV, then you could use one of these. Or if you're mounting it on an arcade cabinet and you want to drill a little hole to run the wire through, one of these would be great. They usually sell them in a package of two or four and they're very easy to find. We don't have them. This is how you're going to mount them. You're gonna put them on the bottom of the TV or if you'd like, this is the blue tack. You can stick it, if you have a big bevel here, you can stick it on the face of the TV just like that. And then this is gonna be connected to the power supply. We're gonna have one here. We're gonna have one on this corner of our screen. We're gonna have one up here at the top. 
of our screen, and then we're gonna have another one up here at this top corner of our screen.